video, I'm working with Toppy, who's an eight-year-old off the track thoroughbred. So Toppy has been off the track now for about a year and a half. Um, he's basically been spelling since being off the track. He has had his general handling, like coming in. Um, he does come into the yards for feeds and goes back out in the paddock. Um, he's in with a herd of horses. Um, with my horses actually and he you know other than the handling of you know having his feet trimmed and worming and teeth uh he hasn't had any other sort of retraining so he's just coming into retraining now and in this video you'll notice um i'm working with him with putting the head collar on um he is a lot better in this video but he has been uh quite um worried about having the head collar pulled up put on he's a little bit of a he's a sensitive horse um he has been a little bit aversive to touch so i just wanted to um demonstrate um what um giving you some tips of what to do um with a horse that may be a little bit tricky with putting the head collar on uh toppy's not difficult now he was a little bit um a little bit more difficult in the past but he can still show some aversiveness to, to the head collar so that's what i'm demonstrating in this video and i hope you enjoy it and you get some helpful tips out of it well, top top hey tops come here buddy okay toppy come on sweetie top top good boy come top Toppy toppy. Hey top. Hello doll. Hey darling. Hey. Hey sweetheart. Hello my sweetie. Hello my little toppy. Hey. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Hey. Okay so. Okay, you go like that. Yeah. Okay, little cake. So what I do, so what I'm doing, I just wanted to show you there, see how toppy, um, I want to talk about how to halter a horse that's difficult to halter. Um, and Toppy's uh, not as bad as some horses, but he puts his head up in that. Um, you can see when I touch him, he's a little bit aversive to being touched. Uh, he's very tight in his muscles, I know. But I've been doing, I've actually done, um, I haven't really done a lot of work with him, but just by handling him, bringing him into the yards. Just wait, bub. Just wait. So I wanted to just demonstrate. So see how if I'm standing here and you've got a horse, so I'm sort of, I'm already in a bit of a, um, a, an aggressive position, okay, so just facing this way, um, and if I just let him sniff it and that, you know, you sort of sniff it, it's not what I would recommend doing this, because you can see where he sort of put his head up, so what, if you've got a horse that's difficult and they're a little bit aversive to the head collar, um, First of all, I want them to be habituated like this. So he came up to me uh, and instead of being in, in, this is a bit of a threatening position standing like this and see how he even looks away from me. And he's a little bit uh, tentative, he's having a look at me. Whereas if I just came to his side, so I just stand near his shoulder and I scratch him on the wither, okay. Um, and I don't want to sort of push, I, I don't want to actually put the head collar to his nose. Um, I just want to scratch him on the wither. And then what I do, hey, good boy. Hey, okay. And then I just bring this up, okay. And I've got this one, so he's not as bad. But if you had a horse that was a little bit tricky to head collar um, and they're a little bit worried, so I'd be scratching them and I'd just hold the head collar like this next to them without, without even um, going to put it on their head. So yeah, I know you're a good boy. And then just patting them over, so oh, that a boy. Hey, so I've got the head collar in my hand, and it's it's here. It's in, you know, in his the vis he can see it. Um, and I'm not trying to put it on him. I'm not. It's just in my hand while I'm smooching him. So this is called overshadowing. Okay, so I'm taking his attention to something else, and it's um, making the aversive um, thing, which is the head collar. Um, less of a priority to him. So you can see he's enjoying his little scratch on the wither. 
I know. I know you're a good boy. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to ask him to step back. So a little bit of pressure on his chest. Step back, top tops. I haven't trained him to do this, so you can see he hasn't stepped back. <laughs> He's gone sideways. Good. There, yeah, one little step back. I know. So see how my head collar's just in my hand here. And what I'm going to do is. As I said, he's not, um, he's not a really difficult horse to head collar. He doesn't run away from it. He's just a little bit worried. So I've got my long strap here. And what I do is I'm just, I've already been able to put my hand over his neck and that. So I just bring it underneath. Okay. And then I bring it up like that. And then I, good boy. So see how he's not worried about it now. Okay. Not worried about it. Now that's a lot different. Okay, so I'll just do it up, good. And then I just give him a scratch on the wither. So that was actually very good. That was probably the best. I'm just gonna take him a step back away from the tape here, just in case. That a boy. Let's take a little step back tops. That a boy, I just don't wanna to get too close to the tape. So you can see how he was pretty good there. He was very relaxed with the head collar going on. Yeah, he's licking and chewing his lips. Hey, so this is, I did a video before on him and he is always a little bit of a worry um, in being touched and that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take the head collar off again. Okay, and when I take it off, I just let it slide down. There we go, put my hand over here and let it down. So instead of going like this, okay, so you're standing and you want to head collar your horse. First of all, I would suggest not standing in this sort of angled position where you're facing like that. Okay, so if you go like this and you bring your hand out and you sort of, it's a bit of an, a threatening um, position, it's sort of like you're going at them, it's like here, you know. I, I would suggest instead, and I recommend, um, when you're going to your horse, angle towards their shoulder, Okay, and you just stand here, we've got an itchy. So I'm just standing here and I go to their wither. Go to their wither, there. And then I just have the, the head collar here, presently around, okay, not trying to put it on them. Hmm. Scratch their wither. So scratching the wither relaxes them. Yeah. yeah so I'm standing at his shoulder. I'm in close proximity, hey, yeah. So I've got my head collar just here, but it's not a threat to them. Good boy, good boy. Okay, so this video is for someone um, that's having problems um, putting their head collar on the horse. As soon as the horse sees the head collar, they run away. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> oh, he wants to mutually groom Nelly, but I don't know if she's gonna be into it. Tops. Come on, we've got to go back in the paddock now. And top it. Come on, tops. <laughs> Come on, good boy. Oh, okay. We're going to have a little mutually groom. We're having a bit of a mutually groom. <laughs> okay. Little scratchy scratchies. Yeah? I've started something. I was scratching Toppy on the wither and now he's, here we go, little scratchy scratchies. <laughs> That's Nelly, my riding pony, and Toppy. You finished? Come on, we've got to go out in the paddock. <laughs> smoochy smoochies, aren't they? They're doing smoochy smoochies. Yeah. Okay, guys, come on. Let's see how it's really important for horses to be able to mutually groom. I thought, um, you know, tactile touch and sensation uh, is tactile, yeah, touch and being able to um, mutually groom each other 
um, and touch each other is really important for equine welfare. Um, they're, they're social animals, they need that. Um, and if they, if they, you know, are isolated, which off the track thoroughbreds are for most of their life, once they come into racing, they actually don't get to interact with other horses. Uh, in some stables, they may be able to reach over the, the yard um, and other stables, they, they can't, they actually can't touch each other. So uh, it's a bit of a rehabilitation. Um, when you get an off the track thoroughbred, um, quite often they haven't, um, nearly mostly, they haven't been able to interact with other horses in a, in a social environment. Um, so to gradually introduce them to other horses and to be aware that they may be aggressive um, or they may get bullied, um, they, yeah, they, quite often won't get on with other horses. It's a bit of a rehabilitation to um, introduce them to other horses. Come on, Tops. Good boy. So see how when I walk up to him, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Good. Okay. So I'm walking up to him. Okay. Come on, Toppies. And once again, I'm on his shoulder. No, we're not having any more mutually groomies. That a boy. Okay, so I've got my head collar in my hand. I'm not directing him at him. He's, he's got this moochy moochy thing happening here, haven't you? Okay, so I'm just going to move him back. Come on, Tops, back, mate. Good boy. I know, good. Okay, so got my, I oh, know more scratches, okay? Got my head collar just in my hand here. I don't know if you can see me so much. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it up. I've got it to see down at the base of his neck here, okay? We'll just see when you can... Not so far. Okay, and then I just slip it over his nose. Good boy. Oopsie doopsie. There. a boy. What a good boy. There we go. There we go. And give him a nice scratch again. Okay, so he associates the head collar being put on. Okay, I'm just going to move him over here away from the fence. So, whoops. He associates the head collar being put on with smoochies. Hey, with a scratch on the wither. Yeah, and it's a positive experience for him, that a boy. So you can see how I did a, um, a video with him before and um, he was a bit worried about being touched, so he's getting better. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this down. 